on campus will now cost more for students across the UW system. Veronica Macias joins us live at UWM where the Board of Regents just approved a $6.2 billion budget. And Veronica, I understand this was unanimous. It was unanimous, Carol, and the UW system finds itself dealing with tight finances for the second year in a row, having to give back millions to the state. And this comes when state funding as that is at a low point in its history. Now, today, the Board of Regents received public scrutiny for not releasing details of its operating budget before today's meeting. Now, these significant changes include further spending from their reserve fund. Increased fees known as segregated fees are going up at an average of $59 for students at all nine campuses. Fees that pay for, for example, an approved student center at La Crosse. There's also a 1.7% increase applied to room and board fees. These increases are not requested lightly or by the institutions or brought forward lightly to you today. Part of what we as faculty are trying to draw attention to is that we don't want to shift costs onto our students. Now, the largest increase from the $6.2 billion budget comes from tuition hikes, which go to students who are non-resident and graduate students. This is $37 million that make up that $6.2 billion budget here. Reporting live from UWM, Veronica Macias, today's TMJ4. Yeah, a lot of money involved. Thank you very much, Veronica.